Hello Year 1, it's Mrs Dugood. Well done for all of your fantastic learning over the last two weeks. I've really enjoyed sharing your work. This week, we are going to learn how to order and compare numbers. Which of the numbers here is the smallest? Which is the largest? How do you know? The two is the smallest number because it is the only one that is just a ones number. 32 is the largest number because it is made up of three tens and two ones. Remember that you have to look at both parts of your number to work out the value. For example, the number 16 is made up of one ten and six ones. Look at these numbers again. Can you spot how many tens and ones there are in each one of them? Pause the video if you need some more time to practice. Today, we're going to be using special codes to help us understand numbers in different ways. In our codes today, the numbers we will be will be pictures instead of the normal numbers that we use. Here is the code that we're going to use. If you use this code, how would you write the number 14? You need a square and then an arrow. How about the number 31? A triangle and then a square. How about 87? A diamond and then a circle. If you look at this number, what is the value of the heart? The number is 23. The heart is 20 or two tens because it is written in the tens column. For your task today, you need to copy out the code into your workbook. You can then either print out or copy the questions. Ask an adult to help you with this. You then need to solve as many of the code breakers as you can. For your chili challenge today, can you try and invent your own code to use? You could set me a challenge if you would like to. Tuesday's task. How could you organise these numbers? How would you arrange them in order? We have 23, 27, 13, 17 and 19. Start with the smallest number and work up to the largest. So you would have 13, 17, 19, 23, and then 27. How about these numbers? Starting with the smallest again and working up to the largest, these would be 13, 31, 33, 35 and 53. For your task today, you need to log on to your Mathletics account and complete the arranging numbers activity. It will look similar to the ones that you've just been doing. You can have as many tries as you like. I look forward to seeing how you get on. Wednesday's task. To understand place value of numbers up to 100. What is place value and why is it important? Remember this, this is place value. We look at each part of a number and find its value. The number 16 is a one and a six. The one is one ten and the six is six ones. Try number 27. Two tens, seven ones, 20 and seven. How about 19? One ten, nine ones, ten and nine. Thirty five. Thirty 
three tens, five ones, 30 and five. How about the number 40? Four tens, zero ones. You must remember to write the zero still. Otherwise, when you're trying to write 40, you'd only write four and then you wouldn't have enough. Today, you will need your workbook, your pencil and a dice. If you don't have a dice, get some small pieces of paper and write the numbers one to nine. Copy this table into your book. You can ask a grown up to help you if you would like. Roll the dice and record the number you roll in the first box. Repeat and roll again and write this in the second box. If you don't have a dice, choose two numbers and write these in the boxes instead. You then need to draw the number as base 10 using tens and ones. Remember, the first number you roll is the tens number and the second is the ones. You then need to write how many tens and ones there are in your number. Repeat it as many times as you can. Thursday's task. I can understand and use place value for numbers up to 100. Log on to your Mathletics account and complete the place value activity. As always, you can have as many tries as you like. If you need to practice some more place value work, there are other activities on Mathletics or on Purple Mash. You could also watch this video again back from the beginning to help you practice. Friday's task. Today, I would like you to practice your counting, jumping forwards and backwards in jumps of two, five and 10. There are lots of different ways you can practice just by counting out loud. You could write the numbers, you could draw groups of things, you can count out sets of objects, or you can play the games on Purple Mash to help you practice. For your chili challenge today, can you start at a different number each time rather than always starting at zero? For example, can you start on number seven and count up in jumps of five? Good luck. I look forward to seeing all of your work this week and hope that you get on really well with it. See you soon.